In this quick tip, we want to show how the method of triangulation can be used to locate a, a point on the map. Uh, so the story is this. Two planes are flying along a lakeshore. They're 12 miles apart, approaching each other. And at the same point in time, they pick up a signal from a ship that's in distress. And uh, so this plane computes uh, the bearing, the direction, from his, um, uh, the direction you have to fly in to get to that ship, and finds that to be south, rotate 52 degrees to the east, and at the same time, this plane down here uh, takes this angle to be 35 degrees, that's north, 35 degrees east. So we have this triangle here, and we would like to know a couple of different things. First of all, how far is the ship out from the shore? And then, of course, we'd like to know things like how far these distances are. Uh, so essentially, we would like to solve those triangles or at least get to enough information so that we could. Now, um, this, um, this may look like a, a problem of a whole different nature because we don't even have a right triangle here. Um, and uh, even if we tried to cut that off, we wouldn't know what these links are. So how could we possibly solve that? Well, it turns out it's not nearly as bad as it looks. If you just make uh, one, do one simple little trick here. What we're going to do is this. Of course, we're going to uh, take a cut across here so that this side and this side are perpendicular. And these are then uh, right triangles. That's what we've been working with. And we could simply give this distance a name. How about if we call this distance um, x? And now what we know is these two planes are 12 miles apart. So if this distance is x, then this distance along here must be 12 minus x, because when you add this and this together, you have to get 12. So um, we have a way of labeling these two distances, and that's going to be tremendously helpful to us. Uh, the next thing we know is um, in these two triangles, uh, let's see, uh, these two have to add up to be 90, and if we've already used up 52, then this one must be 38. And in this triangle, if we've already used up 35, then this one must be 55. So we know all of the angles now, and all we need to do is uh, compute some sides. The trick in a problem like this is to come up with two things that we can set equal. And what we want to do is just observe that these, this triangle and this tri triangle do share a side. So let's give a name to that. I'm going to call it Y. And uh, now let's see if we could uh, come up with some ratios that describe that. Well, first of all, I know that the sine of 52 degrees is the opposite over, uh, actually, I think a tangent would be better here. Let's go with that. The tangent of 52 degrees is uh, the opposite over the adjacent. And I can solve this for y y is equal to um, x times the tangent of 52 degrees. Now in the same way I could work on y from this triangle. So let's do that. The tangent of 35 degrees is equal to the opposite over the adjacent And that tells me then that y is equal to this product, 12 minus x, uh, times the tangent of 35. Okay, so y is equal to this product and y is equal to this product. That makes these two things equal to each other. x times the tangent of 52 degrees is equal to 12 minus x times the tangent of 35 degrees. And now we um, apply the distributive law. So 
So we have 12 times the tangent of 35 degrees. minus x times the tangent of 35 degrees. Okay, what we'd like to do is get the two terms with x's on one side of the equation and the numbers on the other. So we have this one, x, tan 52 degrees. Uh, this will be added over here, x, tan 35 degrees is equal to 12 tan 35 degrees. All right, x is common. We can factor that off. So x times the quantity tangent 52 degrees plus tangent 35 degrees is equal to 12 times the tangent of 35 degrees. And now we can divide each side by this quantity here. x is equal to 12 tan 35 degrees over this sum tan 52 plus tan 35 degrees. And these are all numbers, so that's something we can do on our calculator. And we'll carry out a few digits so we get some good accuracy and uh, we'll be able to um, use this uh, computed result somewhere else if we need to. 12 times the tangent of 35 degrees divided by, don't forget parentheses here, uh, tangent of 52 degrees plus the tangent of 35 degrees. And I get about 4.2434. Now all of the distances in this problem are in miles, so that's what this would be here. So um, we know this distance right here is about four and a quarter miles, this one right here. And um, that will allow us now to make some progress on uh, the other distances. Well, how about this y? We know that y is equal to, uh, we could pick it off um, from right here, or, well, how about right here? Um, it's x times the tangent of 52 degrees x we've just computed 4.2434 miles times the tangent to 52 degrees and now we're going to have y And that gives us 5.4313. Okay, so now we know this one. This distance is 5.4313. And that actually answers um, one of the questions. How far is the ship from the shore? 5.4313 miles. Um, the uh, next question is, uh, how far down the shore uh, is that point? Well, uh, from the location of the, from the northern plane, when it took it, when it got the signal, uh, it would be X or 4.2434 miles. And how far is the um, ship from the plane at the moment the distress signal was picked up. Well, that you could uh, compute with the Pythagorean theorem. Let's call that c. c squared is equal to a squared. Uh, let's take that x here. 4.2434 squared plus y squared. Uh, the y is um, what we computed earlier, 5.4313, and uh, we want to square that. And then you just uh, take the square root of both sides with your calculator, 
uh, to get a good approximation to see. So we want the square root of 4.2434 squared plus 5.4313 squared. And uh, that turns out to be about 6.8924. So, the ship in distress, uh, we know that its uh, bearing uh, from the point of this plane is um, south, 52 degrees east, at a distance of 6.8924 miles, and that puts it uh, Y, which is uh, 5.4313 miles offshore. And in the same way, we could take 12 minus X, which would uh, give us the the distance down the shore um, from the point where the southern plane took the received the signal and uh, then you could use uh, those two sides to find that distance if you wanted it but uh, we actually have enough distance now to enough distances calculated to exactly locate the plane um, you'd come down um, about four and a quarter miles down the shore uh, from this point and then go out um, y which is about 5.4 miles and you you have the location of the ship at the time that the signal was received so that's it uh, that's how triangulation is used in order to locate things in space it's really the same kind of process that could be used no matter who is taking those observations uh, could be uh, visual signals lighthouses could be picked up electronically with um, uh, say cell phone towers or anything like that um, make it possible 